Offering treat, um, combination treatments for body contouring. Um, so Yoram will go and then we'll have Amy come up and talk some on body contouring. And if Neil's here, we'll do some shockwave. So Yoram, you're back. like to start with stressing some, uh, I think, very important thing in body rejuvenation, I would call it. It's actually made of three things. One of them is the contouring, which I think is the most important part, and this is based on skin tightening and giving you a better shape to the area. Second is the texture. We, we should not forget that on the body we also have problems with texture. We lose the laxity of the skin, we have wrinkles, we have stria. You have a lot of changes in the texture. And the third only is the fat reduction or the problem with fat. Of course, you need to remove in some cases small areas of fat, especially in thinner people. But if you go for the more obese people, you cannot do actually a lot with non-ablative uh, treatments. So what are the energies or the technologies that are used in uh, body shaping, body contouring, body rejuvenation uh, problems? We have the RF, which I think is the best because it gives you tightening, it gives you texture improvement both non-ablative or minimally ablative, you do have cellulite improvement and you have maybe some fat melting. This is uh, in debate now, but people are talking more and more on the apoptosis in which you can with uh, considerably uh, low temperature for a long time get some uh, fat melting or improvement at least in the fat. Then you have the vacuum technology, which will not give you tightening or texture, but can help in cellulite, will not help in fat. So it's an additional thing that you give you temporary benefit, blood circulation, some cellulite improvement. Focused ultrasound will give you only one thing, it's the fat melting, usually in a small quantity, so for small areas. And the cryolipolysis, of course, will not give you anything to the quality of the skin, but can help you melt fat in special areas. So if we're talking about RF, there are a few technologies. Uh, you probably know the bipolar RF, which is not painful, but usually uh, quite superficial. You have the monopolar RF that started with Termage, which is much more intense. It's a small electrode, then you have a lot, a lot of pain. You have a lot of heat that you have to cool, and it's a vicious cycle, so you need more and more energy. And then you have the multipolar RF, in which you see a lot of electrodes on the skin because it's one generator. Actually, it's not very different from bipolar. And you have what we call the 3D technology, which is based on multi-source. Do not mix with multipolar, it's six generators of RF. Each one is controlled independently. And because of that, you actually can focus the energy deep into the dermis and minimize the flow on the surface. This is possible by controlling the different polarities of the different electrodes, as you may see here. And this is the device uh, of Endymed that we are talking about. I mentioned before, it's six RF generators, which is unique in all the RF devices. So these are some evidences to what this special 3D technology can do. On the upper picture, you see the bipolar that will give you quite a superficial heating. And when you use the exactly same energy, uh, in this case, two times 150 watts, you get four times deeper penetration with a vertical direction of the RF and uh, less 
uh, heat on the surface. This is very important for our, uh, for our uh, talk now because this is the fat of a duck and uh, the muscle here. And these are the collagen fibers, in this case uh, colored but in blue. And here you see the RF flow. So once you do the, the 3D technology with the four electrodes, in this, this case four generators, you see that actually you push the RF along the collagen fibers which are surrounding the fat lobules. Why it happens very easy to understand because this is the less, uh, less impedance area. It's, it's wet uh, and the fat lobules of course it's fat, it's more impedance, so the RF will prefer to go here. Because of the special 3D technology, it will go vertically between them. So you have a very nice effect here, which is exactly what you want to have in body contouring. You want to tighten the dermis and you want to tighten the lobules between the fat, lob the fat lobules, actually. The collagen fibers around the fat lobules. So to do body contouring with this technology, we have actually two different types of hand pieces that you see here. Uh, this one, which the generators are in a row, and this one, which is the newer one, we call the shaper, which is circular. What is interesting here is when you use the circular uh, electrodes, you actually collect much more of the RF energy. If here in the old handpiece you collect only in this one, you collect it in a linear fashion, with this handpiece you collect it 360 degrees, so you have 50% 50 more, uh, 50 more of the energy with the same power. In addition, what I think is very important in all RF devices is the way it, it uh, relates to the impedance of the skin. We know from the first generations of RF, uh, thermage and other, other bipolar, simple bipolar devices, that we had some excellent results, but in 50% of the patients. So, the predictability was not good. And I believe now, with this type of hand pieces, we increase the predictability. And how we do that is by real-time impedance measurement and feedback in the hand piece itself. So the machine checks all the time the impedance and controls the power emitted into the skin according to the impedance. So if the patient has high impedance, it will deliver more power, less impedance, less power. So there is a constant energy delivered and then the predictability of the results is, is much higher than if you are not doing that. Some of the clinical results uh, we have in body contouring. You see this was a big study from Spain. And actually you can see, as in all collagen remodeling uh, technologies, that you have, of course, results after the treatment. You see the decrease in the circumference. And then you have it on six months, nine months, and 12 months. And, and this long-term follow-up is actually unique. Because what you see usually in, in studies, what is happening after treatment, very nice reduction in circumference. But what is more interesting that would it last? Is it real collagen remodeling or just some kind of temporal result? And this uh, study is very interesting because it took a 12 months follow-up and you've seen that you actually have the circumference reduction here is up to 12 months, of course, it's a bit less than 12 months that after the treatment, but you still have it uh, much better than the baseline. And the weight also was checked, so there was not 
a lot of difference in weight during the study. Uh, in the same study, they also looked with confocal microscopy what is happened to the collagen in the skin. And this is what you see. This is before treatment. The collagen was sparse. The quantity was lower. And after treatment, you had a much better, finer collagen, more dense. So rejuvenating not only reduction of circumference, but also improvement, improvement in the texture and the quality of the skin. This is, by the way, the effect of this technology that is not using cooling, because when you are using a lot of cooling, you actually negate or cancel the effect on the upper part of the dermis. Once you're using this type of 3D technology, you're hitting all levels of the dermis, so you also get benefit not only in the deep wrinkles and circumference, but also in the upper, finer problems of the skin. And this is a new result coming from actually from Scotland, from a famous doctor there. Um, using the shaper, the, the new handpiece that I've shown you uh, for circumference reduction. Usually we do six treatment for that. It's a series of six treatment. And these are before and afters. Absolutely painless. If you compare it to Termage and others, absolutely painless and no consumable. So it's a very affordable treatment. Uh, from Asia, this, these are results from Japan, from a plastic surgeon. Uh, this is interesting because this is 21 treatments. Okay, so it's a lot of treatments. Uh, and I think he also did a diet and sports and so on, but I think it's, it's amazing for non-ablative treatment. And uh, the contouring effect on younger patients uh, works, of course, every skin type. A lot, a lot of treatments. I will show you, uh, I want to go to the results that actually look also on the texture of the skin. Okay, so this is one example how you can improve also this scrappy like uh, skin. I think this is quite unique for this type of technology that hits all levels of the skin. The Colte area is a very nice place to go. Other parts of the body, there is a lot of interest in, in some countries uh, treating the arms, this flappy skin, and around the knees. Also, some people are bothered by that. So, uh, actually, we have a lot of such results from uh, the UK, and this is one of them before and after four body tightening treatments. This is again body contouring and the texture, very important. Results from France, from France. Cellulite, again in cellulite, usually people are accustomed to treatment that involve vacuum, but I would like to show you that even without vacuum, because the way the 3D technology goes deep, you can have improvements, it will not happen every time. Okay, this is one of the best results but it can be improved and you see from different places different countries a real nice improvement in cellulite uh, arms and these areas 